Gavin? Gavin? Sorry. I'm afraid it's four o'clock. Time for your watch. Don Street is owner, skipper of Isle Air, a lifelong yachtsman, retired charter skipper, yacht design consultant, and yachting author with 11 books and countless magazine articles under his belt. Like so many offshore sailors, Gavin Shaw has crossed the English Channel a few dozen times and bareboated with his family in the Mediterranean. But over the last few years, the thought of an ocean crossing under sail had become more and more appealing. He'd just seen an advertisement placed by Street, who was in London, looking for crew to sail his 44-foot engineless yawl back to the Caribbean. Don is very much a hero to me. I'd read his classic book, The Ocean Sailing Yacht, from cover to cover. I just have to meet him. Gavin Shaw. Mrs. Street. Delighted Glad to meet you. Have a seat. Thank you. Let me show you what we plan to do this fall. The crew found it extremely easy to get her moving. The anchor is hanging under the bow. I feel that's essential as an emergency measure whenever you're maneuvering in tight quarters. The lull Isle Air needed to clear the coast safely arrived on Tuesday, September 17th in the 0600 shipping forecast. Yeah, we've got purposes. The upper port saloon berth, just below the deck, was now getting very wet. And we were all discovering that once salt water gets into clothes and bedding, it never really dries. Trying to claw to windward in a small yacht in a gale is about like hitting yourself in the head with a hammer. But it was just a case of waiting until the wind shifted or died. The sun is much more available now as Isle Air voyages south, and morning, noon, and afternoon sun sights are becoming a routine. the spinnaker all night, pulling us onward to Antigua. Surfing along on the end of the bowsprit, with the roar of the bow wave crashing in my ears, I could shoot here all day, trade wind sailing is all I ever thought it would be, and more. On a westwards passage across the Atlantic, your longest trip is 2,100 miles. From the Canaries and the Cape Verde Islands, it's a downwind slide, but it will be with varying wind velocities and directions. You need every type of sail, from storm sails through spinnakers and MPGs, and if using the latter, it's essential that you have a snuffer. And when it comes to crew, four is, I feel, a minimum and any number under that will increase your insurance rate or make it possibly uninsurable. I didn't want our voyage to end, even though I was longing to see Gail and Georgie again. I found the rhythms of ocean sailing promoted a sense of calm and reason, which I hadn't experienced in my business life. The satisfaction of working the boat as a team with a clear, sensible goal to play your part in keeping her sailing fast and everyone on board well-fed and rested places you can visit where you feel like an explorer rather than a tourist. 
Maybe the joy and beauty of sailing big ocean waves with a wind that's strong and free will one day lose its magic. Somehow I doubt that it will. Three months on Isle Air, not the easiest or most comfortable of boats, certainly hadn't got ocean sailing out of my system. We all sail across the Atlantic on the good yacht Isle Air, the one gun yawl. The certified that you have. Oh. Badge from the Isle Air. <laughs> the only one gun yelling captivity. Thanks, Tom.